back to PP Movies and Geek. This is Ash right here. I'm back here to the review one of the most anticipated movie of the year yet. Uh, one of the biggest movie probably in the entire cinematic history. Today, I'm going to review Star Wars The Last Jedi. Those of you who probably didn't read the title, this is a spoiler-free review of Star Wars The Last Jedi. I'm not going to spoil anything. This is spoiler-free. There's no discuss about the plot of the film. Uh, however, if you feel like knowing a little bit about the movie itself could damage your uh, experience going to this movie, please just skip and don't watch it. Alright? So, let's get right into it. Star Wars The Last Jedi is directed by Ryan Johnson, the same director that brought us Looper, one of the greatest sci-fi films of this decade. Uh, and it's about... It's about... I cannot tell you, alright? I'm not going to tell you about that. So, to be honest, this is pretty, pretty difficult review of the year that I, I have done that's right after I watched the last Jedi I felt like I I felt like this was going to be a tough review because you cannot uh, review it with any without the discussing about the detail of the movie or anything. So I'm gonna do my best to give that thing. Alright? So since we not we cannot uh, discuss any plot I'm, I'm going to talk about the character of the film, the character of the of Star Wars: The Last Jedi itself. So in the Last Jedi, we saw the return of all the previous collectors from the Force Awakens, whether it's uh, Ray, Finn, Paul Dameron, Kylo Ren, uh, uh, Princess Leia, General Leia, or, or, uh, Luke Skywalker himself, and uh, I think the return of a bunch of whole people that we've seen in. Uh, that we've seen in The Force Awakens. Let me start with Finn, right? Finn. Finn is one of my favorite characters from The Force Awakens. Um, and he he's still a great collector, but instead of being in the forefront center of the story like in The Force Awakens, somehow and some reason he been kind of put aside and be kind of side character. Did not have the significant impact to the story at all. He don't have this, and, and and also the situation that he's been involved kind of a little bit torn him down from what he should have been. On the other hand, we have Paul Meron. The character that seems so switched place in the Force Awakening. We seen Finn has been the center, and Paul kind of on the side didn't do anything so much. But this one in the last Jedi, the opposite Portman is the main is the main character right here. Uh yes, Portman uh he has a much bigger significant role and important role in the last Jedi. Uh, in the way that it allowed him to become more mature collector more mature collector and uh, but also has a lot of things to learn because he's still young. And still advice of his uh, surrounding. Alongside Paul the Baron is our uh, beloved uh, Prince Leia of Ghana, General Leia of course in, in, the, in, the, pre, in the sequel trilogy. Uh, General Leia, she has become a somewhat mentor to Paul the Baron. It's not like Obi-Wan to Luke Skywalker or Qui Gon Jinn to Obi Wan, but it's uh, but she still guide Paul Demerit in what he need to know and what that is not be done. She has a much much bigger role than the one in the Force Awakening, more impactful role, uh, and probably had a significant role. So she has more power and everything than any previous uh, 
films before. And God, that makes me sad because uh, this is the last film that we will see of Princess Carrie Fisher make her physical, uh, seeing her last performance before she passed away last she passed away last year. This is her last performance. This is her last performance on Star Wars. So, uh, before she passed away, really sad to hear that. I'll make her sure. Let's repeat. Now the high highlight of this film is the three characters that is in the main focus of the film. It is uh, Rey, Kylo Ren, and definitely Luke Skywalker. If you see the two. Rey and Kylo Ren are becoming more and more complex characters. They have much more to learn, both from the dark side, one and uh, from the dark side and light side. So far, the Force Awakens, we've seen that these two collectors, these two collectors, is strong and are strong with the Force. They are so strong, uh, but both still lack the necessary training to fully control the Force. We saw this uh, in the Force Awakens. Uh, Kyro Ren is still invited and still needs the guidance from Supreme Leader Snow to become a strong with the Force. Rain on the other hand, for some reason she in the Force Awakens she can use the Force but she cannot control it. Now, however, the main star in this one is definitely the Jedi himself, Luke Skywalker. So in the Force Awakens, of course, we we seen them we seen Luke. We left on the island while Ray having him back a lightsaber. But Luke has become more wise and become more aware of his surrounding, of his and his path. To some extent, Luke Skywalker in the last Jedi. He is not Luke Skywalker that we will be known from uh, the original trilogy because he's he's much more powerful than we can imagine. Imagine his his attitude changed about has almost changed him his personality in in many ways. And he actually has some reasonable expression why he left everything behind and came to this uh, planet alone. But on in the other hand, however, this is still little sky would be that I know for in my entire life. Most of the audience know it for, from him for 40 years, me is 22 years. Um, so, on one hand, there's a lot of new stuff in this collector, and there's a lot of new, and I mean, I mean the old stuff that we are familiar with. A big, big thank you for Mark Hamill for bringing our beloved Jedi back to the screen. Uh, this is his best performance at Luke Skywalker. He's been the best Luke Skywalker ever, ever, ever. He, of course, he brings the new look, the new depth to the collector and be able to give more emotional performance uh, than any previous Star Wars film we have seen. Let's talk about the directing style and uh, the direction of the film. So Ryan Johnson did something very, very creative in this one compared to J.J. Abrams in the first film in uh, the, the Force Awakening. My personal favorite thing about uh, Last year is to explore a new concept, a new meaning of everything that we have seen, that we've never seen before in the film. It extends some previous thing that we might have seen, but we are not sure what it is in Star Wars. And sometimes it's and also has some new meaning to to it. Uh, the film doesn't appear to be different from the rest of the Star Wars, in fact, this is one of the most different Star Wars films that we have seen. One, one main flaw that I'm going to want to point out is in The Force Awakening, uh, many people, including me, believe that, I mean, it's not believe, The Force Awakening had very similar, similar plot to A New Hope, and that is, it's, well, that is exactly the same thing, just a different character. But of course, I love the Force Awakening as much as I love the Last Jedi. I don't have a problem with that. But I told myself, if it, 
now that again I'm not going to watch this again and thank god this film is not a recreation not a uh, recreation of the Empire Style Bank now and of course I mean, it's not the newest film it doesn't have any familiar like, aspect the bringing from this film and that film this is eight film nine film you including the long one it's pretty it's difficult for to, to differentiate this film in the terms of in the terms of storytelling because at some point it is franchise the franchise usually go with the same direction in the same way okay so it will have something but it has more more meaning some 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 part might be very similar but in this in it's executed differently of, of the film, so that's why I make this film is uh, unique. Last Jedi go darker as we expect from the trailer and many interviews that we have known before. The darker tone is the best, probably one of the best elements in the Last Jedi. And another one is probably didn't expect I'm going to see this. I love Star Wars, but I uh, did not believe that we're going to have one great pretty awesome cinematography and this is shot this is the most beautifully looking Star Wars film to date I watch all Star Wars films not so many of them stand out in the title creating a beautiful shot beautiful sceneries and imageries and everything but there's a lot of scenes that I did not think that we can see it in Star Wars pretty pretty awesome so awesome uh, scenes and shots and also to be honest, this is not, I'm not saying that this has the best and best technology of filmmaking that make the film look so beautiful like we've seen in Red Runner or in Dunkirk but what I'm saying is that this film looks different and made we, and we did not see, we haven't seen anything like it in the Star Wars franchise before. and that's why it makes this one that differentiate itself from the rest Franchise. Another thing that I want to point out is the fan service of Star Wars The Last Jedi. Now, in The Force Awakens and Rogue One, both are great film, but both also has too much fan services. In the sense that some of them are not necessary at all. So there was some of them throwing all the references into, into your face. And uh, I mean, it's good, but in, but in the same time, it's most of them doesn't have all the the, the meaningful. You know, it's only create the nostalgia of, of that uh, feeling of Star Wars. Now, in the last Jedi, however, there were intelligent ads, intelligently ads, all those references and all fan stories there. Wow, it's also enhance and support the ongoing story of the film. It doesn't want to show off what what it has, but it rather want the audience to notice it by themselves and export it. But, but export it, export it by themselves. Uh, the only there's the one only thing that's the last Jedi did worse than the Force Awakens and Rogue One, and that one is the pacing of the film. Uh, so there is actually there's one scene in particular that is. And I think Toy ruined the movie. It was um, enjoyable. It's very boring. It's not fun at all. It's and also it's too long. Uh, so without that scene, without that scene, the film could takes out fifteen to twenty minutes of, of the running time and potentially put the film back into the normal pacing. This is the first of this review can go over. Uh, without any spoiling any, uh, re any detail. So Star Wars The Last Jedi, in my opinion, it is the great Star Wars film. But probably is the greatest in the Empire Style Bag. Uh, now the, I say that in The Force Awakens. In The Force Awakens too, but this one is they had a more confident in saying that out loud. Now by the time I'm doing this, re this review, I have seen a lot of ne critis uh, negative criticism it's about two weeks in the, the release date so I saw a lot of negative, negative criticism and it's fine nobody looks like I like every film but at the same time the 
film take a bold move to the new path, create new possibility for many Star Wars to come. Uh, I think it's gonna be a bit, a bit of, uh, difficult for any directors coming up, coming up after. I mean, J.J. Abrams to be specific to come up and make the episode nine, or maybe even the new trilogy. Could be a new charging path to start. But yeah, a lot of people hate. A lot of people hate. From my, from my, in my opinion, Star Wars: The Last Jedi is a great Star Wars film. I'm going to give Star Wars: The Last Jedi 9.8 out of 10. This is the review for Star Wars: The Last Jedi. One of the great Star Wars uh, film. It is. It is, might not be the greatest Star Wars, but it is considered great. Uh, this film, I actually, uh, this film. Probably one of the few Star Wars that you need to see. And actually, the only Star Wars film that you need to see in the theater more than once. I'm going to say it more, and I'm going to make a spoiler review for you guys. More go into more detail what I think in, in particular, and why people think Star Wars: The Last Jedi is not that great. But for now, this is the spoiler free review. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'm going to make a review a list of film of the year coming up soon and going to be there pretty soon. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Patch, you are watching PP Movies and Geek. Enjoy the movie and may the force be with you.